I want to challenge myself for the last remaining days in 2023. I want to run 100 miles. So for this challenge, I need a plan. Let's write the title here. Sorry for my artistic skills in advance, but that'll do. Some rows and columns here. And let's start with the most important day, Sunday, long run day. Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I already ran easy yesterday, so let's start with that. And then let's put the long run on Saturday because Sunday is Christmas Eve and nobody runs on Christmas Eve except you, you show off. Another easy on Monday. Then workout on Tuesday. Wednesday, another easy day. Thursday, another easy day. Workout on Friday and a well-deserved rest day on Saturday. And then only a long run left on Sunday. Now we have a plan, but wait, how should I distribute the mileage? Now you notice that I like to go with one hard day and two easy days in between them. Let's go on. Yesterday I already ran 3.74 miles, 15.5 miles on Saturday. Don't touch the rest day, nope. Maybe seven on Monday, 14 on Tuesday, 13 miles on Wednesday, maybe 13.5 on Thursday. Then we need 14.5 on Friday. Don't touch the rest day. And let's finish the challenge strong with a proper long run, 19.5 on Sunday. That's 100 miles. But let's split some days in half. My favorite basic workout on Tuesday, eight by a K. Wednesday, easy, easy, lemon squeezy. That two should be an eight, by the way. And obviously I can't count because I write very random numbers. I just hope that nobody notices. A Cooper test on Friday and another pretty long run on Friday as well. Let's just make the hard day very hard. Then another split which doesn't amount to 14.5. And here another demonstration of my artistic skills. We need a lot of yellow. Yes, let's put some yellow there and some yellow there and some yellow here. And now we have a plan. There's just one problem. I need to gather some motivation for the Saturday long run. I don't feel crazy motivated to go on this run today. Uh, it's the day before Christmas Eve. I figured I make it a little more fun. Look at that. I'm going on a group run with some friends and we all put this kind of Christmassy hats on and run through the snow. Back from the group run and all in all, I ran 19.25 kilometers. Very mellow pace. So not really as much as I wanted to run. So I'm a little bit in kilometer or mileage depth right now. I went on another run the same day. I'm already tired. Luckily, tomorrow is a rest day. Today is double run day. And uh, I have a session in the, in the morning and in the afternoon, an easy run. And I really love intervals. Unlike some of you, I don't know what's wrong with you. But I do like them. I didn't sleep very well last night. What it usually does to me is that I want to go out and run the intervals very hard. I have to be extra careful because in the afternoon I need to go for another run. So to be able to put in all the other runs this week I need to figure out the strategy how to keep, you know, keep the lid on, lid on those efforts, but still training at the right intensity. I really need to go now. And last one, last one, last one.
probably look pretty tired right now and that's because I am pretty tired right now. But let's see how I feel tomorrow after a good night's sleep. <laughs> probably, probably worse than right now. From my experience, the next day is a little bit harder. Um, I hopefully I will get through this challenge as a winner. It's just about six in the morning and do I feel this challenge in my muscles? Yes. Well, the overall volume is a bit above 70 kilometers right now. And uh, it's just Friday. Friday in the morning and I'm going for my third last run. I mean, there are three more runs in two more days left. Three days with one rest day and I will have my rest day tomorrow. I will have it because today I will run about 16 kilometers in the morning or 13 probably. Then the Cooper test in the evening then after the rest day I will have my long run and the challenge is finished. I'm on my way to run my first all-out Cooper test, finally. I think this one is gonna be good. I feel pretty well. The target is 3,400 meters. If you don't know what a Cooper test is, it's basically 12 minutes all out. Let's see how much is left in the tank, so to speak. ran 3,430 meters. For me, it was a, a debut at the Cooper test. I've never ran a Cooper test before, like at maximum capacity. That's fantastic. I feel like progress is happening. Right now, I'm not even in my best shape. I mean, it's winter and I'm full on in base training. In the morning, I had a pretty long run and all oh, the whole week was uh, the maximum amount of volume I can handle right now so I guess that was a pretty good result actually and there's only one rest day and a long run left yes great stuff okay today is New Year's Eve and that means it's time for the long run it's time for the challenge to end. There's three reasons why this long run is 30 kilometers. The first one is I wanted to have a proper long run because of the training benefit. The second one is I wanted to have a real rest day yesterday, so I needed to run a little bit more mileage on one day. And the third one is I wanted this challenge to finish challenging, like with the long run. And what could be more challenging than to run in minus 14 degrees celsius and let's go i'm just throwing the floor right now but i have to tell you this it's getting a bit hard right at 17 kilometers definitely feels a little harder 14 more and the challenge is done. At one point during the long run my hands were freezing cold so I decided to pull out a trick out of my sleeve and finish this one on the treadmill. Okay, okay, okay. Ready for the treadmill. Challenge 
finished. <coughs> oh. I'm filming this on the 1st of January 2024. The challenge was running 100 miles in the remaining 10 days. I did it. Let's make a little recap. First, lessons learned. First lesson I learned is actually the quality workouts didn't suffer despite the higher volume. So I have been running a bit above 100 kilometers before. I think that's about 70, about 70 miles. Not sure about that. But I knew that 100 miles in 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 in, um, in, a, in a week would have been definitely too much. But 130 kilometers in a week plus the extra three days, uh, which then amounted to the 100 miles. That that's that's okay. Quality workouts didn't suffer despite the higher mileage. No, they didn't, and I'm very happy about that. Always felt strong during the workouts. I kept the lid on, so to speak, so I wasn't going like maximum effort in the workouts, which you are probably also not supposed to do. I'm not really sure about that. I'm just a new runner. I've been running for three years, so I don't know everything. The mobility and the strength exercises, they enabled it. That's the second lesson. When I was doing those exercises, all the muscles, like all my whole body, loosened up a little bit so after i did the physio exercises after I did the mobility and the strength i always felt just ready for the next one that could be a goal for 2024 just to keep up with this stuff because uh, i'm pretty sure that this enables me to do higher mileage and to get a better runner as well lesson three high mileage is only possible if you have enough time to sleep to be honest, I struggled for a couple of nights with a good night's sleep, so I had to make up for it. After sleeping just like half an hour or an hour more, my body felt much stronger, much fresher for the next run. My mind also <laughs> was in a good place, so the motivation came back after sleeping a bit more. The fourth lesson was actually quite surprising. I was very happy to run on the treadmill most of my runs, and by doing so, I was able to control the effort so that I wasn't tired or I wasn't too tired after double run sessions, for example. I've never did double run workouts and I wouldn't probably do that for a long time, but I did double easy run sessions. Will I do this again? Mm, I don't know, probably, yeah. Not right now. Next week is gonna be all about raising a bit of the intensity so i will keep the amount of runs the same but just to experiment a little i will try to run the easy runs just by feel if i'm tired i will stop a little earlier and if i feel fresh i will just go on a little bit more on the workouts i will do next week i will add a little bit of intensity to that I think I just need to be mindful, careful about doing too much of base mileage, too much of like those uh, time on the feet. I think I need to rest restrict myself a little bit with that for the next week and uh, the week after that. Let's see what's the week after that. I wish you a very happy new year and may your goals come true. Let's see you in the next one. Peace.